Hi third graders. Today we're actually going to be making something called an observational drawing. So an observational drawing is when you're observing or looking at something and drawing it. So just like we did our still lifes in the first couple weeks, I want you to go into your house and find a shoe, but not any shoe. See, this shoe would be kind of boring to draw because there's no color or decoration on it. So try to find a shoe that's a little bit more interesting. Maybe it's a colorful sneaker, or it could just be a kind of a gray and white sneaker, but as long as it has some sort of designs on it. So you're going to set your shoe out in front of you on the table. Now, I wanna give you a couple of tips for how to start your drawing. So when you're looking at your shoe, instead of putting it on the table flat, you might want to, if you're standing, I would lay it this way. If you're sitting, so your eye is level with the shoe, you might want to stand it up. But since I'm standing while I draw, mine will be laying down this way. So I wish I could get both in there for you. I'm going to take the shoe and I'm going to just get the basic shape first. And most of the basic shape is going to be the outline. I'm not going to worry about any of the details yet. That's going to be the very last thing we do. So when I look at the shoe, I'm going to be trying to get these angles right. So I'm gonna start up here and I'm going to make that kind of swoopy. See, I'm drawing lightly, swoopy back. Now from here, I can make this angle. You see it's not straight up and down. So I'm gonna come out and again, draw lightly so we can fix it later. And then the bottom comes out. The bottom is angled, kind of curved. So it's not a completely flat sneaker. If you're drawing a high heel, right? That's not going to be flat. You're gonna have that heel part. So really look at what you're drawing here. So I'm up here now. Again, it slopes downward. And then it kind of kind of gets pinched up here, right? It's kind of thin. So I'm gonna come up like this. All right, so we have our general outline and now we can start to add some details. If there's anything you don't like about this, go in there with your, eras your eraser and fix up your angles, okay? So you might not get it on the first try. It might take you five times to get it right and that's okay, you're learning. So. Let's start up here. I see this little line here to show that cushiony part. So I'm going to draw that into my drawing and it comes up and I'm really looking at what I'm drawing the whole time. I'm not only looking at my drawing. There we go. In the back here, I have this little, and all I can see is the A and the S. So I'm gonna put that in there. It might look different to you from your camera angle, but that's what I see. And I do see these little, this little tiny stitching here, but try to save your details for the end. I'm kind of going too fast there. Um, here, this is almost in the middle of this, right? This little, so maybe I should have brought that down more. And again, I got too carried away with my details. So I'm going to go in there and fix that up. So we're gonna bring that down more. And then this part looks like it caves out, but I forgot we have the bottom. Here's the bottom of the shoe. Oop. Here's my white part of the shoe, the sole of the shoe, and it comes up. You gotta fix that. And then it actually comes all the way up to where the toe is and then I can loop it back around, right? Okay, so we are gonna count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five, they're called, I think the eyes or eyelids of the shoe. I'll have to look that up for you. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And I can go in there, fill that in, Bring this down. Okay, we're coming along here. Now I have those three um, lines here. 
Notice how they're coming on an angle. They're not all the same size. So I might draw that in first, and then I can go in and make the angle on them. One, two, three. Okay, maybe this one needs to be angled more like the other ones. All right, so the shoelaces are hard. They're kind of tricky, but you notice they come out of the hole, right? So I'm going to draw the two lines first to give it a thickness. And then I'm just going to kind of fold them over by taking that first line like that. And I'll just darken up my lines here. Okay, and then your knot will probably look different than mine depending on how you tie your shoes. Here's one loop. My other loop is kind of hanging around the edge, so I'm just going to imply that it's over here. And maybe part of it's in the back. I might also want to suggest that the back of my shoe is showing where your foot goes into. And that's looking pretty good. Now I could go in there and I could add my texture on there, or I could just color it in. I might want to make a line to suggest that it's on a table but just try your best to draw your shoe. It's actually kind of fun. If you try a couple different shoes, maybe you can do that. And then color it in if you have anything to color it with. And don't forget that all good artists sign their name at the bottom, okay? Good luck and make sure to email it to your teachers if you're proud of what you did.